two major education groups in the state at odds over a bill at the state house. It would allow pay cuts for teachers during the term of a contract. Mike Sharp joins us live in studio with a story from inside the state house. That's right. Pieces of the laws that were overturned in 2012 by Proposition 1 returned to the state house, once again pitting two organizations against each other. Now each hopes to convince lawmakers to lean their direction. A new bill at the state house would allow school districts to make changes to pay and duration of contracts during the contract term. Without being able to reduce salaries, our only option is to reduce staff, which means higher class sizes for everybody, and I don't think anyone wants that. But what do teachers have to say about the legislation being presented at the State House? It was bad education policy in 2008, it's bad education policy in 2011, and it's bad education policy in 2013. Nettinga says the new bill, along with others at the State House, come from laws overturned by voters in 2012. When is enough enough? And what does it take in order to help the help legislators understand that we said no? But Echeverria says they intentionally avoided the main issues of Proposition 1, limiting negotiations and lengths of teacher contracts. We did not address the two big issues that were concerns with the teachers union, and we are only addressing those other elements that were in Proposition 1. And with the sunset clause that makes the bill expire after one year, Echeverria says it comes with added protection. There'll be an interim legislative committee that's going to review several of the bills and then bring back recommendations next year on whether or not we should move forward with them. But Nettinga says committees like that should come before lawmakers change any laws. That's the answer. That's the solution I believe that we should be looking to toward rather than just reintroducing things that we know the voters rejected, whether in part or in whole. Nettiga tells me the IEA was involved more in the process this year as compared to 2011, but not enough to make bills they could support. Live in studio, I'm Mike Sharp. Today, 6 on your side.